damn thing anyway. What's going on, everyone? I want to make sure that we are live. Are you guys there? I want to make sure that you guys, if you're if you're there, let me know. I don't know. I'm I'm known for fucking shit up. It, it could be possible. No, no, I see you guys. You're you're there. All right, so we're here, and this is the one on one. As we've set this up. Uh oh, he okay came back. Uh, I changed the setting. Gotta be somewhere in here, up there, or in the bedroom, because they're on the cheek. I would assume they may be by the bed, but I don't have them. There's two versions. <laughs> Can't find my keys. Pay me no attention. The one that says in. All right, guys, we're going to do this one on one. And then after this, I want to do a show for you guys where I want to talk to you about. um, I believe the some of the best ways and I'm going to analyze a YouTuber who had a video about it. And it's funny. He's saying something I've been saying for years ago, but he talks about from a personal standpoint, the best way to keep yourself safe around women. So We're going to talk about that right after this. But the young man is on the line right now is uh, NBA, and I can start off by saying I've said some things antagonistic when feeling attacked. And I've said some things, and I went to what I would assume would be a sore spot. Hopefully we'll address all of these things here in a civil manner because now he can hear me and there's no delay and I don't have to raise my voice and I don't think I have much of a voice left anyway from yelling. So I want to start off with letting him cause he called me in the show and he's the one who believes that I have done some things against him. So we'll let him speak on that and on his standpoint so he can get it out and then I will go from there. So go ahead, brother. Cool. <clears throat> first things first, none of my, um problems with you are even YouTube related. I don't really I don't really give a good goddamn about this website. Like we were just talking before we started. Um only one of my channels is monetized and it's an anime channel where I talk about Dragon Ball Z and bullshit like that. I don't even discuss stuff like this. Um my other channels monetization is turned off on them and that includes my Mad Black Atheist channel. So I'm not doing this for money. Because I don't really need YouTube money. I'm not doing it for that. I literally just get on here to bullshit around. It's a hobby. I don't care about it and I don't need it. That's part of the reason why I'm not on all day, every day, fucking streaming eight hours a day and all that bullshit. Because I don't really care about YouTube. The only thing that that I believe that we had an issue about is my going on to Zone's channel. And yes, you did not say pick the side. You never said that. I will flat out admit that. You never said pick them or pick me. Okay? I'm So I don't want nobody to think I'm just going to come here and tell a bunch of lies. I was on there and truthfully, I was defending myself first because I was being called a coon all damn night. Like if you go and look at it, there is not a single second to take by where they weren't calling me a coon. And I was on there literally saying they needed to stop fucking with your money, stop fucking with your kids, stop trying to get your address. And then if you go on my Mad Black Atheist channel, I actually have video, a whole video where I went off on Zone, True Freeman, Covert Radio, all these dudes. And I said, when did it happen that we start fucking with people's money? That's what the video is all about. So can I ask you a question? I know I I, I just want to ask you something. So if you felt this way, how could you then be friends with an? That's like me saying I think pedophilia is bad, but my homeboy is a friend and he's a pedophile. That's like me saying I don't like men who beat women, but I'm gonna be friends with a man who I just called out who beats a woman. Uh, if you I believe that what they're doing is wrong, how are you gonna then turn around and tell them you're one one of the only shows I watch? I like your content. When your content is you're stalking a man, he came at you, brother, for doing it. 
Now he's doing it. I went on the show initially to defend my position because they were doing the basically the fuck all coons bullshit. And I went on there initially not as a friend because I'm going to be honest. I'm not Truth Nation. I'm not Soto Nation. I'm not Zone Nation. I'm none of that shit. And I am none of you guys' friends. None of us are fucking friends. This is some digital bullshit. None of us or none of us are going to go out to Applebee's after this is over. So so I'm not any of you guys friend. Mm-hmm. I went on there because I am I am a talkative person. I am adversarial. I don't have a problem with jumping on live streams or shows even of people who don't like me cuz I've done streams with Slap of Don. I've done I've done them with fucking True Freeman. I've done them with Zone. I've done them with you because I feel like Retreating to my corner and only talking to other coons is not going to resolve shit. So I went directly to where they were bad mouthing coons. And if you listen to it, I told them on right on the show. I don't give a fuck if you call me a coon. I asked them, "What the fuck are you niggas doing to help black people?" One guy was talking shit about me, and I I'm said, not trying well, to be, "I'm not trying to be funny, but it's like you're not answering the question I asked, which was." You asked mm-hmm. me how could I go on there, and that's I'm explaining okay. why I went so on I, there. I, I kind of wanted to be a little bit more concise of. Like, you know, if if, if, if if your girl asks, well, why would you hanging out with this girl if you know this girl's trying to fuck you? Because I don't consider it hanging out if I go on a show to challenge something that oh, you're no, that saying an, about me. That was an analogy. Well, when I said yeah, that. Yeah, listen, mm-hmm. I am not their friends, Tommy. And mm-hmm. I told them that live on the air. I said, I'm none of you guys' friends. I, know, I but, went on there to challenge what they were saying about coons. I that's it. You. That's, that's all I, I did. You, but do you not think it's a bad look? When it's a very bad who, look. No, 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 listen. When you've said to me, this person, and you've said it for a while, this person is doing X, Y, Z against you. And then you go over there and legitimize them by saying, out of all these stupid people, you're one of the only people who I listen to. You're a cool dude. You don't really do anything wrong, not from what I see. But I was talking from a personal standpoint. He's never done shit to me. Just like you said earlier, the Jews have never done anything to you. It's niggas. Mm-hmm. Well, I take the same thing, but only on a more personalized level. I can't Except you did go call out him and out, fight a battle for you. No, no, no. I wouldn't ask you to fight a battle for me. That's why you. That's where it keeps messing up. Did I ask you to fight a battle for me? No. But did I ask you with fighting to be? Didn't start with. Or did I ask you? No, you never did. Or did I? Or did I ask you and everybody else to have the intestinal fortitude? Just like when Vic came and he said. Yeah, that man said uh, baby maker. I was like, I'm not going to sit up here and say that dumb shit because you say it. I got some integrity. Integrity is going to make me say, no, I can't sit up here and justify the dumb shit you're doing by my presence. You stop doing this, you get my presence. Right now, I'm not going to sit up here and tell people how great of a guy you are when I've told this other person how great of a guy you're not. If you had never said that, I would have never had a problem. Do you understand that? If you had never sent me messages talking bad about him, I would have never said, I don't want you around me because I would have had no reason to. And you could have done both. I wouldn't have totally understand. And like I said, I did. I wasn't thinking about it the way you're thinking about it. The way I was thinking about it is these guys are sitting on here basically classifying everybody who doesn't date black women the same way. So I was in the chat first. And I was saying, hey, look, you guys, you you get on here, you talk all this shit about coons, blah, blah, blah. And I asked Zone, I said, can I get on to talk from the other direction? Because it was just a whole group of motherfuckers talking about coons. And the coons they were talking about was not coons. It was me. Because when Zone was so. It was about you, but it was about us in general. It was about it was about me. Zone never talked. Sir, Zone never spoke about coons ever. Before he fell out with me. Is this not a fact? That's true. So they cannot then turn around and say, oh, it was about all us other. No, it wasn't. They weren't making videos about you. They weren't making that. They weren't talking about you. They weren't talking about anybody else as a coon because this is a a dude who high yellow with a white wife. You know, the whole damn thing was about me. I I did watch the show. I ended up going back and watching it. Did you watch the whole thing? I ended up because watching the whole, the whole thing. The point is, I and saw, I watched you, you saw call how out much the people they, calling they you went, a coon. They went from talking about you 
to basically attacking me all damn night, either you in went the chat in, and on the line. You went on the show. Yeah. You went on the show, and as you got on the line when you were talking, you kept soliciting that. Zone, you know you don't have me on the show, and you know they're gonna start calling you a coon now, cause you know I'm a. That's what you kept doing. Yeah, I was, I, I was fucking with his audience. And that's I my even point. Said that during the show. That's my point. You can't yeah. then turn around and say they was coming at me. Their whole thing was they was talking about me, and you jumped on that to be the honorary coon on the panel. That's what happened. I watched it. Well, I admitted during the show that I was like the part you just said about fucking with his fans. I flat out said it on the on the line. I said. I'm just gonna troll the shit out of your chat. I told him that. So what? You know? So you can't then yeah. turn around and say they were talking about all coons when that ain't what they were doing. You literally interjected yourself into being one of the coons so you can be talked about too. That's what happened. Yes. When I first got there, it was all about you. Yes, but once I once I got on the line, it wasn't just about you. They were burning every coon at that point. Do you understand what I'm saying? If they talking about Tyreek Nasheed and I go on somebody else's show to try to make myself be a part of the Tyreek Nasheed conversation, then I turn around and go tell other people they were attacking us. No, they weren't. They were attacking him. Well, of course. You literally put a target on your chest. Yeah, but here's the thing. A lot of the stuff, and and I've, I've been meaning to say this for a good long time, a lot of the stuff that you say and do on YouTube Long before there was a YouTube, I was already saying and doing this stuff. And, you know, I, I was going to ask you, you know, how long you been doing this? And then go back 20 years. That's the last time I dated a black woman, fucked one, even thought about talking to one 20 years ago. So whenever we come to present day and I keep hearing the, the well, the shit, the coon shit, and then I hear you say the stuff you say, well, he wants to be like me. I thought like this 20 years ago before I even know who knew who you were, Tommy. I don't, I don't want to be like you. These okay. I have these beliefs in me from 20 years. I understand years. you saying, hold on. I understand you saying you thought like that before me. Uh, before I ever existed. But don't you see how it would be quite disingenuous for then when I'm doing my show, you come on the show. And you're constantly calling in, talking about some, I think the same way. On my channel, I talk about, I think the same way. On my channel, yes. I talk about, I think the same way. On my channel, I think I talk about. You don't think that's disingenuous. And then when you leave, the same thing that you say I'm good at, you somehow became that I'm good at and that you think. You somehow decided to be the person who tells people I'm scamming them now to fuck with my real life. No, I said you were a hypocrite because even though you dislike black women, you still fuck them. You also said I was scamming. You said he's over there. I'm, I'm, remember, I had to watch it. You told you I'm not over here scamming. Not on, here. Now on Zone he Show, I did not say I'm you not, were scamming. Is that what, is that what you talking about? I literally said when you first went. When I first started. I, I've, I've walked you. it down. I said you, st you, tw you before I ever existed, you felt this way. I existed. You used to come on to my show to keep saying you do it. You do it. Go check it yeah. out. You just like that. You do it. That's what it was. I said, then we fell out. Yep. I said, and when we fell out, and I, I became scammer. all of these things. And I said, it, it doesn't make sense if we agreed on certain things. How can I all of a sudden be a scam artist? How am I everything that the non-coons are saying about me? That you're using every phrase they use against me because we fell out. Because of basic anger. That's a really simple answer. People get mad and say shit. But simple as that. Right, I get it. But then when you that's do why, so, that's so, why I'm the only one to come back on your show live and apologize for it. Right, but I, you do also remember you made an apology video once. Yep. Took that down and went right back to doing what you were doing before. Because I felt like you slighted me on like I felt so like you, you didn't you make a video feel, about me, but I felt like you sideswiped me in something you were saying. It it wasn't even about me, but my name came up in it, and so I felt like as, it was a sideswipe. So as long as you feel slighted, you will go back to lying on someone's actual business. Uh, actually, when I, after I made that apology video, I did not do any of the he's a scammer shit. Only thing I did. Was keep bringing up. I don't act. I don't monetize my stuff. I don't ask for my audience to donate. 
Um, I've been saying that forever. So, so since you I've been, been saying, saying that saying forever that. because they haven't I even just had these options it towards you because we were hot at each other. But okay, I've been but, saying okay, that. but what but does I, that have to do? Yeah. How I run my business, and you've seen it, and you had no problem when you were around. Why would you then have a new problem with the exact same thing that existed? I just answered that because I was pissed off. So I'm saying, so you went from being cool with me, pissed off, did it, cool with me again, pissed off, did the exact same thing. Let me ask you but, something. But Let you got to keep in context. We're talking about at least a year or two I know ago. we are, but I'm also okay. keeping, I'm trying to get context to where we are. That's the only okay. way you can do it is to just say that they went, I'm cool with you. When I'm not yes. cool with you, I said things that were untrue. I agree. I was cool with you again. I went right back to the same thing. I never bothered you after that. We went on our own way. You came back. We were cool. I didn't make you go through any damn thing to do it. You were texting me and stuff. I, I was like, I'm feeding with a long handle spoon because I don't trust anybody that keeps doing it. Like you said, basic anger. Basic anger shouldn't make me keep having to apologize from whooping my wife's ass. Basic anger shouldn't make her have to apologize from keep fucking my homeboy every time she got mad. You can be mad at me and I accept that. But be mad at me for the real reason you're mad at me. Do you think that's asking too much? Like, literally, if we were nope. cool up until the moment I slapped you, talk about the moment I slapped you forward, not 10 years behind that. Well, what I'm trying to get to now is what's going on now. I don't Like I said, we already dealt with all this, this stuff from two years ago, and I'm trying to talk about what's going on now. I don't I mean, yeah, I agree with you in total. That's how it happened. I agree with the I'm saying, do you agree that we should handle I'm saying if you're yeah. talking about how I'm saying, do you not think that all of us can do something as simple as if I was cool with somebody and we fell out because he fucked my wife? My problem with him is going to be he fucked my wife, not that he stole from uh, his own cousin when you were still my friend after I stole from my own cousin. D does that make sense? Yes. OK, so maybe you can answer to me then. Why is it that every one of you who've been cool with me throughout my scamming, throughout my begging, throughout my living off YouTube, bring these things up when you stop liking me? Why is that? Well, in in my case, mm -hmm. I haven't done it since. But in the case of these other people who are doing it, they are trying to discredit you. That's the whole point of it. They're trying to discredit you and shame your character. Okay. But in, in the case when I did it two years ago, that's the exact reason I was doing it. Sh same thing. Discredit you. OK, because whenever you're adversarial with somebody, especially when you're going against someone who has 13, 1400 people watching them and then you have 50 to 80 watching you, that person has a bigger voice. So more people are going to believe that person with a bigger audience. So you have to do guerrilla tactics in order to be in the game pretty much. That's so you, the truth. So you have to try and slander what they built and yes. destroy what they built in order for you to do what? I guess you could call it a get back game, pretty much. And it's I mean, in, in my case, like I said, I did it because I was pissed. That's why I haven't done it anymore because I ain't been mad at you since. I'm not even mad at you now. That's I mean, if people in the chat might seem to think I'm pissed at you, but we were having a decent conversation before we started. I'm not mad at you. And I, uh, I totally we're still having one now, though. We're still having I, a decent conversation. Yeah, we now. are. We are. I totally understand you, your point, because on my own channel, I told people, if you go hang out with folks that don't like me, don't come back. All of y'all have done I, that. That's why yeah, I don't I, understand. I it, but I'm I saying it on my channel. But I'm saying all of y'all have done that. So I don't yeah. understand why you wouldn't think I'd feel that same way. Well, the the reason is because I made a video right after saying it, telling people that was my fuck up. I don't have a right to tell people what the fuck to do. It's still on the channel. Right after I told people, get the fuck off my shit, go over there. I made a video saying, look, I don't give a fuck what you do. I don't care. I don't have a right to tell you where to navigate on YouTube. That was but, my bad. I won't say the shit again. Fuck it. And that but was the end don't you understand me saying... Yeah. If I know what you're doing and you told me that you think this person's a bad person and I see you over there kicking it with them, why would I want to be around you at all? I mean, any. I get it. Listen, me and you got a history. And because of that history, it basically compounded the fact that I was hanging out with people who fucking with you. 
that history plus them fucking with you equal don't bother me. 100% understand that. Oh, my only, and I, like I said, I had your number in this phone and this other phone. I, dro- I deleted your number. I said, I ain't gonna fuck with you no more. And the only thing, the only reason I'm even talking to you now is some of the things you said that don't even relate to YouTube that I wanted to clear up. And then after that, dude, trust me, you're not going to get a five hour fucking stream. You're not going to get any goddamn videos. You don't get none of that. Because be honest with you, man, listen, I don't care. The reason I went to the anime community is because I don't have to do this over there. I can make a video about a stupid cartoon and then turn my computer off. Hold on. Let me say something to you. You said the reason I went to the anime community is because I don't have to deal with stupid shit. Yeah. Yet you come back over here bringing the stupid shit. And no, I didn't bring it. it. I joined in it. No, no, no. You said you brought it. You said I was trolling them. Yeah, I was trolling his chat. Yes. So literally, you. Yes. So I I, what I said was so so what I said was one hundred percent true. Then wasn't it that you went over there to avoid it, but you brought it back to the niggas? Well, if you want to, if you want to baseline it like that, yes, it it requires more description. But I'll just accept what you said. But it does require more description. The fact is, I wasn't trolling them. If you watch the stream, I didn't start trolling them until the chat filled up with coon and fuck your white wife and all that other shit. And then I started fucking with them. But at first, I was just on the panel talking. Once what? all that shit started hitting the chat is when I started trolling them back in the chat. I you didn't know troll that's not what you said at the beginning, but I'll let you go back and listen to it um, after the show. That's not what you said and how it happened in the beginning. Yeah, I told you. I was trolling the chat. I didn't say exactly when I was trolling the chat. But you literally it, said you started out it, trolling the chat and then you jumped online. No, no, you asked me. You said I can't, I can't fuck with people and then say something about them fucking with me. And what I said was I was trolling them. But no, I didn't well, no, say I said, the you, but started. no, no. But I'm saying you said I was trolling them at first in the chat, and then I got online. No, I said I was talking first in the chat, and then I got on. Yes, and that's then what... I started trolling them. I didn't troll while I was still in the chat, Tommy. I was just in there typing regular shit. Once I got on the line and they start trolling me, then I start trolling them back. That's the how it that's the chronological order that it went in. So if you said you left this community because you know how they see or feel about you, when you go into their comment section and they know who you are, it's the same when I go into them pro blacks people comment section. Do I think they're not gonna call me a coon? As soon as they yeah. see me. I don't try to pretend I don't know that they're going to say this. That's all they say. They thought this of me then. They're going to think it of me when they see my face. The same people who hate Tom, Donald Trump, if he shows up at a rally of theirs, it's going to change the tenor of the rally because all they're going to do is talk about Donald Trump. As a matter of fact, he's, his presence is going to take away from what they're actually trying to do. I agree. So when you did it and you said you had to leave this community because you knew what they were doing and what they were about, when you came back, it was to antagonize. No, it's it's the basic nigga shit. And every one of us go through that phase where we just want to engage in dumb shit. And that's just the truth. That's okay, the I can understand channel, that. Yes, I can, that's, yeah, I can yeah, understand. Yeah, that's the reason why the channel's not monetized. That's the reason why I'm almost never on my Mad Black Atheist channel. Because it's a predilection. I come back every blue moon. And I actually said it in one of my videos. I said, I come back every blue moon to fuck with these sector niggas and then I leave again. But you come I, back. I, but that's what yeah. I'm saying. So the group of people who you believe should stop doing this to the point of where you went to another sector to not have anything to do with it. You come back every now and again to prod them. Yes, but it ain't just the people who fuck with you. I'm all over. No, I didn't say that. I said, I said, I didn't say the people who fuck with me. That, that yeah. is, that's what I'm saying. You, you added but I something. Do, I did I not do say. Come back. Yes. I said you come, come back, back to prod people. those people who you tried to get away from. That's all I said. Well, yeah, of course, and I'll tell you why I do it. I'll Please. explain why I do it. Please, because the whole time I've been doing YouTube, the whole time I've been on here. And the whole time that I was in the sector before I finally left, all these people talk, they talk a lot of good shit. Some of them in this chat talking, they talk a lot of good shit. But here's the bottom line right here. And I I know you can understand this because I consider what you do your business. It is a legit business because you make legit money off of it. 
Well, these guys troll the shit out of me all day long. Oh, you ain't shit. Fuck this. Fuck your white wife. Da, 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 da. How many of these motherfuckers have actually given another person a job? How many of these people have actually started a business, paid taxes, paid employees, done any of that stuff that I do every single year, and then they have the nerve to talk shit from their shitty little houses, people like Vic Damone in his little shack, people in these little shitty little uh, areas, these shitty-ass computers, these whack-ass fucking little neighborhoods they live in. Yeah, but you're... So, you're yes, but, 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 wait, 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 wait. By, by definition, I agree with you. And then you go right over there to somebody... Who's doing what? You don't know what that guy has. He sits right there and claims that he's so rich and he don't need money offline. And the whole broadcast, he got shit scrolling across the front talking about some donate. And you don't say anything about that. You won't call that out that dude. You're sitting here talking like you're living really great, talking about what you don't need. And you're trying to get where this man is. That's improper. Actually, if what you're saying, I, if you want to go at Vic, you can. But you I say nothing. Link, I will link you the video where, where I did say that. I said I told Zone, True Freeman, and all them dudes. I, I'll link you the video. I flat out said these guys are trying. They're they're fucking using your name for views and money while stopping you from using your own name for views and money. The video's still on my channel. You can go listen to it. I so, flat out said it. So I'm saying if this is the case, then we're going back to where I was at the beginning. I'm pretty sure the answer is yes, but I'm just trying to drive it home to the audience. I'm not, hold on a minute. I'm not using Tommy for views and subs. That's why I haven't shouted out my channel. And to be you. honest with you, I'm not going to shout out my channel. I don't want you guys to come over there. I just the, want to talk to this man and get it over with. Then, then talk to me, not them, because I'm not answering their questions. But what I was trying to get at was saying, then at this point, you would now understand why I would say simply, I want to have nothing to do with you when I know you talk bad about this dude in text. You say you made a video. And then you go over there and tell him, I like your broadcast. I can't like someone who I just said is doing something wrong on several occasions. Not just one. I said it on one wrong. occasion that I like his content, but I wasn't talking about all of it. I was talking about the specific, some of his topics I do like. I'm not going to sit there and lie and say I don't. Well, I didn't some say of his you, topics I do like. I didn't say you didn't. But once we start lending our voices to someone's platform talking about how good they are, you got a problem at that point, especially when you see that that person is doing something to someone else and you acknowledged it by telling that person, hey, go look, this motherfucker's talking about. Like, you remember, you brought what he was saying to me. You did. Yeah, I told you that he was streaming your your um show that you did with uh, Jesse Lee Peterson. So, yeah. so why didn't you, when you got on the show, look, man, you were streaming that man's business. That's fucked up. That's why I don't want to be over here. I can't be over here with y'all because what you're doing was so bad, I went and told him you were doing it. Well, you listened to the show, and like I said, you heard me trying to make my points. There was some girl on there. I still don't even know who the hell that was screaming at me, cutting me off every five minutes. No, y'all just seemed like y'all was having a love then, fest. You and Zone and seemed then, like y'all were, and, you and Zone were having a love fest from what I Well, saw. I've never had a problem with Zone since all the way back you to the You did have a problem with him because if you didn't, you wouldn't have sent me those messages trying to get me in the beef with him. Don't you see? I how? wasn't trying to get you in the beef with him. Sir, if you tell you me, hold on, shit. wait, wait, wait. You cannot tell me you're not trying to get me. Since you're looking at the audience, let's just ask whether they like me or not. Audience, if someone came to you and told you your best friend is talking about you at the club or your cousin was talking about you here or they on Facebook, here's the link. Do you not think they're trying to start beef? Because remember, I didn't know. You came to tell me how lame he was for taking my content. How can you then say no, you weren't say trying to get me mad at him? 2.0. Huh? Let's not. I said I didn't say he was lame. I said he was true Freeman. No, you had said he was lame. You, I'm sorry. You said he was lame in February. That was the one I read from February. I guess you stopped yes. thinking he was lame after February. So you're right. The well, one after I went on his show and told him directly to his face that he he he's he needs to cut out the fuckery. I actually said it to him on his show. Uh, cut I out said, the fuckery, uh, guys. I said, I said, is, dude, are these two are statements? Are these two statements the same? Man, you need to cut out the fuckery. You lame. No, they're not. Okay, so when but I pointed out what you said fuckery, in February, you can't say I've been on the show to tell him that. Those are not the same thing, and you know. Oh, you're, but but what you're saying is 
You're not allowed to change your mind between February and August. That's I didn't say that. I, I don't know. Guys, that's why I like having conversations in front of people and not, other pe- and, and not by themselves because people just act like they didn't hear what I just said. I thought he was acting lame in February. That don't mean he's acting. I think he's acting lame in August. Well, those not my exact words. I said, I'm not saying you haven't changed your mind since then. I'm telling you what you said then. Was that not my exact words, guys? <laughs> I had no problem with you changing your mind. But you shouldn't be going around calling that man lame to other people. You just shouldn't. Very true. Especially if you're going to act like you didn't tell him he was lame. This is gossip, sir. That's well, two-facedness. Zone, that is backstabbing. That is snake seen, shit. Zone I'm not going to say something about you to someone. Let me tell you what, M- Mad Black Atheist. There's nobody that's going to come to you and tell you I said something behind your back that I didn't say to your face. It's nobody. I can promise you that. Nobody's going to show you a text message and you be like, oh, shit, man, this nigga was, I thought we was cool. I didn't know he thought I was a fat, ugly motherfucker. Like, Damn, that's if, if I thought for a second any of this YouTube shit mattered to me, number one, two different thoughts. I would I wouldn't have made the video that Zone has seen. Two different thoughts. Would you accusing these guys of fucking with you? It's two different and thoughts. To be what like you're it. saying that you don't care about. That's not what I'm saying. That you care. I'm not even asking you to care. What I'm saying is, how would you view it if anybody did it to you? Period. That's a two faced. It would person. be fucked up. That's all I'm saying. So if we've established, I asked, but I answered that all. No, I'm saying so if we've established that, and we've established, then this is why I would feel this way. Okay. But why do you not? My point is this: mm-hmm. What the hell does that have to do with some of the other shit? What that other shit? You say, what or other that shit? You have been saying. What other shit? Well, the, all the shit you say about my ex, all that shit, stuff that 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 we talked about that you know ain't true. You get upset and you start spewing it. What stuff? Wait, like, wait, wait, like wait. What stuff have I said that's not true? What stuff have you I said? Called her a beluga whale, and I got the video. Everybody's seen it. How, wait, wait. How? Hold on. Do y'all understand that's what not, this man just said? True. He said that's not true. No, she's not actually a beluga whale. No, you calling her fat? She's not even fat, dude. In my opinion, she was. Do you see the women I date? Yeah, and guess what? You showed pictures of her. From before she even met me, and a couple for after she met me, but the majority of them were before she met me, and she's had weight loss surgery, and you don't, none of y'all know about that. Actually, you do, because I told you about it on our last stream. No, no, let me tell you something. I still got the video. Hold on, no, 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 I'm saying, no, 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 listen to, listen to you. You're saying this person has lost this way. Okay, if I tell you I got a million dollars in my safe, do you know I have a million dollars in my safe? Nope. You'd have to see it, wouldn't you? Yep. Thank you. You can't tell me that I visually see something, but you verbally told me something else and I should ignore what I visually saw. And if that's what you're saying is your beef, I want y'all to understand. Listen to what just happened. His beef is, well, I lied because she ain't as fat as I said she is. No, my beef is you bringing up my family to begin with when I've never done it to you. That's a different argument. If you say that. That's different. That's my not what you said. For, you that's not, that's not what you said. At the be- you get mad at me, you I hear you, but that's family. not what you, sir. That's not what you said at the beginning. It really Tommy, isn't. Listen, we're not doing exacts, man. You're trying to do exact. I'm no, I'm trying to make sure that people say. know how to speak correctly. If you, if I'm saying my problem with you is that you slap my face, you cut me off and say, no, I didn't slap your face. Well, you know, you said well, something I, I didn't like. It. My problem is you talk about people who aren't on the internet who are either in my life or have been in my life they that have nothing internet. to do with this. They were on the internet. That's the only way okay, I knew Okay, the about video it. you talked about with my, my, my stepdaughter, my ex-stepdaughter, she made that video that had nothing to do with me. I didn't even know she made that World Star video. Even her mom didn't know she made and that video. And when she did it, you backed it up. What I'm supposed to do, go on World Star and take it down? No. It ain't my video. Do you see what just what I just it's like it's like y'all don't listen. No, but you accuse me of putting it on there with her. I and said, I had nothing to do I with it. I said you back listen, if my daughter's twerking, it makes World Star hip hop. And then I make a video explaining it and saying I'm okay with it. Come on, man. She's, you know there's a difference. The difference is she's a grown woman and your kid's a, a kid. 
I can't Jesus tell a grown ass woman. I what said the fuck if my do. daughter is okay, my daughter is grown. I know she wouldn't be twerking at twelve. If she gets grown, and all these people are talking about you said this, here's your daughter. It went viral, and I then make a video saying it's okay. Her I'm cool was, with it. Her video was about black women versus white women, and I agree with her points. And that's what I said in my video. She made points that I agree with. But I never once said I endorsed this video. I just simply agreed with some of the stuff she said in the video. You actually did say you endorse her video. I said, said I, I have no with problem the with it. Sir, video. you said I have no problem with what she did. You tell me what she said that was a lie is what you said out of your own mouth. Did she say anything that was a lie? Oh, Jesus Christ. Do y'all see do y'all see how hard it is to have a conversation? I'm being very nice, being very direct. You won't you you're asking me to remember some shit from how long ago? Hold on. I'm not, thing I how am I saying the only thing I remember I is saying you, I didn't have a problem with the stuff she said in the video. NBA, how am I asking you to remember something when you completely deny what you said and then I'm wrong for I'm saying that's not true? What I remember saying is I didn't have a problem with what she said in the video. That's what I said. You I didn't said, have a problem with it. He, you said I didn't endorse what she was saying. So I had to go back and tell you, you actually did endorse it. And then you act like I did something wrong by saying, saying what I you just spoke of was untrue. So, so me saying I agree with what she said in the video is yes. what I said. If, if that's an endorsement, fine, it's an endorsement. What do you but think? I'll, but that's Are you all kidding me? Are you kidding me? What what does endorse I mean? Didn't, I didn't say I agree with everything. I said I agree with some of it. I did. You, you. I said I agree with some of the stuff she said in the video. That is literally not what you said. You said I agree with her video. You said until people come to you and show you where she lied. No, I didn't say that. Now, I know for a fact I didn't say that. You were saying, tell me where she lied. That's what you said. Tell me where yeah, she lied. Yeah, I did say tell me where she lied. But I also said I don't. I agree with some of the stuff she said in the video. I didn't say I completely endorsed the whole damn video. But the but we're missing the point. The point is, you accused me of being responsible for the video, and I had no knowledge of it to begin with. That's says the, point says the person to who told me a second ago, I'm being hooked up, I'm, I'm hooking up on semantics. Now you're turning around and saying, no, well, I didn't Tommy, help her didn't put it out. You accused me of endorsing it. You accused me of being responsible for the video, That's being on World Hold Star. on. I didn't say you were responsible for that video. I didn't say you made that video. I didn't. I didn't say you forced but, her to make that video. You didn't. I literally went from when I saw it, you were endorsing the video. Even called her the mad black daughter and continued on with that crap. Actually, that was her channel name and she did that herself. That was the name of her channel. And yes, I called her that in some of my videos, but she named her channel that on her own. We've already proven that you enjoy the trolling of people. That's what you do. I'm not trolling, Tommy. That would have been trolling if you didn't sit up here and back this white girl up. If you're backing this white girl trolling. up for spending her time talking about black women, that is it is trolling. 100%. She made one video for one video about it. She, you act like she made 50. She made one video. Well, she called herself the mad viral. black daughter. You said this. She made one video about the topic. Why about would she black call herself the mad black another. daughter? You don't think that would in it, in itself sit people. If you know what you're doing, like when I call a black woman, the worst to us of children, I know people. I, I'm not trying to pretend that that's not going to offend someone. You got a white girl calling herself the mad black daughter, and you don't think that, that you didn't do that to troll people at all. Nope. Calling her the mad black daughter to troll people? A white girl, bruh. I was calling her that because I was calling her my my daughter. We just added the mad black shit on there. Okay. She she made that her channel name, dude. Cool. And when I fucking announced her on my channel, I said, this is the mad black daughter. Here's her channel. Because people were asking me where they could find the video. Okay. That's what I said. This is the mad black daughter. And why did you want them to find the video on her channel? Because a lot of people was wanting to watch it and I wasn't going to put it on my channel. I thought they she could asked find me it. to put it on my channel. I thought they I could find it on World Star. It is still on World Star, but it was on her YouTube channel too. So, I'm again, so simply, why were you wanting them to go to her channel? 
it was on Facebook because she asked me to put it on my channel and I said I wasn't going I wasn't going to put it on my channel. And anybody who asked me to see it, I told them to go to her channel. I didn't want it on my channel. That's what that's but that's internal shit that happens in my house that you don't know. She wanted me to post a video to my channel and I said no. And why would she want you to rep- to post a video of where she was talking about black women on your because channel? Because she because she know that that's what I was doing on my Mad Black Atheist channel. We're talking about my old Mad Black Atheist channel. Okay. Not the, the one I had when I was still in the sector. So you, she wanted me to she wanted me to put it on there because that's the kind of stuff I was talking about. And why would this white woman want to utilize you to push her message of disdain for black women. Why would she even think you'd be okay with it? Because she's heard some of the stuff I've said about black women. So she probably just assumed that I would go along with it. So let me ask you a question. You talk shit about your mom or your sister because they've done something, whatever, or your cousin, your brother. You think I'd ever get comfortable enough to think that maybe you'd help me talk shit about them too? Nope. Right, because they're still your fucking family. But I gotta see, think you a low, wait, wait, wait. I gotta think you a low street. life piece of shit at a certain point in time. If I think you're gonna help me say something about somebody you got a beef with in your family, you got a beef with, but you want them to get better because that's your beef with them. You think they should do better. That other person doesn't give a shit. They're just trying to clown your family. Um, that white girl's trying the to clown my folks. Told she her has no, no I don't want that on my channel. Is because one, I didn't need her help to talk about what I was talking about, and two, even I thought it didn't look right to have a white girl on my channel sh- shit talking black women. That's why I told her no. Wait. So let's stop right there. Yet you still felt the need to endorse and promote that girl as your daughter, as the daughter of me. And she thinks just like me, go check it out. And I that is the exact same as putting it on your channel. That is the exact same as putting it on your channel. No, it's not. Cause get it. No one even went to her channel to see it. Cause so many people saw it on fucking world star, which I didn't even know it was on there. That goes back to the original point. When I found out it was on World Star, it had already went viral. She wasn't even staying with us when she made that video. So we had no idea the shit was on there until after it went viral. After I saw it, I said, I don't have a problem with what she said. And I told people where to find a video on her channel. I mean, I'm sitting here admitting to exactly what I did. And you still have a problem with that. I still have a problem with what, sir? You have a problem with me admitting to the fact that I told people to go look at her video, but on her channel. No, I have a problem with you not acknowledging. You want me to say I endorsed it? I endorsed it. No, no, no. I'm saying what exactly happened. You said I didn't want her in my channel because uh, this video on my channel because it looked weird to have a white girl talking like that about black. And yet you still told people to look at it on her channel. Hold on. on Wait, wait, wait. If I said, uh, uh, listen, if I said, my homeboy was like, I'm going to put up this video and I'm up here uh, sucking dick. And I said, I don't put that on my channel. People think I'm gay. But then I'm going to go tell those same people, go to my homeboy channel and look at his video. It's a good video and he's sucking dick. Do that's you not think how, pe- Tommy, that's not how it went. If someone asked me where they could find it, I told them. But I didn't just say, there it is. If someone asked me, I would tell them. And the reason people were asking me is because the shit fucking went viral. So Which they is got completely it on, so they out got of it on my world control. Star. So they I'm not going to apologize for trying to. I'm not asking you to. Where am I asking you to apologize? Well, that's what it sounds like you're doing because you want me to basically sit here and talk about. No, I just want you to call a spade. A, I want you to call a spade a spade. We've if you tell me you spoke about point. my family, I'm not going to try and excuse it Black by saying it's something else. Family. I literally Black did that. Women who share my blood are my family. The rest of them are not. She wasn't talking about. She wasn't talking about my mom. and No, my I said if you said that I was talking about your your ex-wife, I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say I wasn't or say, well, I mean, if that's how you want to take it. Well, because I know for a fact there's a difference between me putting it on my channel and saying, hey, guys, come see this and saying, if you want to see that shit, it's over there. We do it on. We do it. Okay. We all do it on YouTube all the time. Okay. If somebody has some fucked up shit. You'll say that shit's over there on that channel. Go over there and look at it. Well, listen to what you hold on. Listen to what you just said. You'd say that shit's over there on that channel. 
Just like yeah, when I go wait, just like when I get online and say, look at this dumbass bitch twerking. But if I get online and say, look at this fine ass bitch twerking, that motherfucker's sexy. Go over there. Those are two different things, and you know it. Doing the yes, same thing. Two different things. But like I said, I didn't want it on my channel. I told people where they could find it. Simple as that. Okay. And and, and I really didn't even need to give directions because the shit had already went viral on World Star. There that's was no what I was about to say. I would say out out. That's what would be weird that they're saying where can I find it? But they'll know where to find it. She was trying to build her YouTube channel, dude. Thank that's you. why I didn't want the shit on mine. Told Thank her to take you. that shit over to her channel. Thank you. But that's she eventually it. even stopped that. She but, just but you just pulled my point channel. by what you just said. She was trying to build her channel off a video she made that went viral. You were trying to help her build her channel off that's a video I told she people made. people to go where to go find it, and but I didn't want it on my channel. You were trying to help her build her channel off of the video that went viral also. That's all I yes, said. Yes, it was her biggest video. That's all I was saying. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, you know, last time I checked, that's what we do on YouTube. We build off of our biggest videos. That's what she was trying to do. It was her biggest fucking video. She, she was trying to build without, off of it. She can do that without your help, sir. Okay, that's where you get into my family dynamics. You don't get to tell me whether or not I can help somebody. How did I do? Wait, wait, see, family. like I'm, I'm telling you, it's like talking to it's like talking to a female. Because you said she you. can do that by herself. But the, that's what, not is that a wait, me. sir? Is that not a fact? I didn't say yes. you didn't have to do it. Jesus Christ, yes, it's that, like you don't listen. You, but when you say it the way you say it, it's like, why did you help that white girl? That's the way it comes off. Well, no, no, no. You can explain it. That's why we will be having a discussion. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. But by that logic, we don't have to talk anymore. We can just stop. Don't try to tell me about how this is my family dynamic and none of your business. Well, then let's just stop talking because none of what the fuck we're talking about is my business. No, we're talking about my personal shit that you bring up only when you get mad because you don't do it all the time. You I don't only bring do it when you, you get pissed off. I don't bring you up at all i don't come to your channel i don't talk about i don't so if someone's going to come to me and say this because let me tell you one of the things that hurt me the most and i said it to you and i'll say it to anyone when you sit there and you prop that person up for what reason i do not know you're making two different points i was just telling you where i was coming from and that what i just said you said, but why would I, I bring, I you said, that, hold on. You throw, said, why would I, I bring that, that up? Hold on. But wait a minute. You said, why would I bring that up? But just a few minutes ago, when I tried the very thing you're doing now, the very tactic, you did this. What this tactic? why I don't talk to niggas. What tactic? Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What tactic? Ta hold on. What tactic? The tactic of trying to explain yourself. Every you asked. Explain Sir, something. you asked. Throw your hands up. You asked. I don't have to explain it. I don't give a shit. But I'll when, stop then. Hey, ask, I'll stop. I don't me, have to explain it. I, I do it. I get mad explain, and I do it. Hey, I get mad and I do it. You don't got to know why. I thought you asked why, but I don't have to explain it. I'm good on it. Well, I, I get mad and I do it. We've accepted that. point of why I asked, but you don't want to go Did back Did you to just say why I asked? Do y'all no, hear I that? I get so I tried to answer a question that he asked and I was wrong. Somehow answering what the person directed to me. Tommy. You win. You went off on a tangent about a fucking viral video that took us way off of what I was trying to originally ask, which is the basic point that you have not answered yet. Go ahead. Go ahead. A go, ahead go ahead. If I, if I, if I, I apologize, what is this that you I wanted want, to? I asked a basic question at the beginning of this. You haven't answered it yet. I'll ask it again and I'll do it in slow motion for the benefit of those who are too stupid to understand. Yeah, because you needed to do all Why? that in order to do. You needed to say all that when I said, "If I Why? missed it, I'm I sorry. Go ahead and say you. it I'm again." You needed to, do, sir. Excuse me. me. Hold on. So no, 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 no. I'm talking to you, and let me tell you something. If you cannot concentrate on talking to me, then we should then again stop I talking. Walk, I can walk and chew gum at the same time. So then anyway, stop doing that to my audience because you need to be talking to me. And once I tell you, tell me what your issue is. Since you say I missed it, then you should do that. Will that you makes answer sense. the question? I don't care about them. Answer the question. After all this fucking bullshit, all this beef and all this two, three years of back and forth shit, mm -hmm. I have not one time mentioned a single person in your personal life. Spouses, kids, family, nothing. 
why then have you done it to me so frequently when I have never done it to you one single time? If I'm not mistaken, I remember you talking about me going to jail and why and comparing. I've to, never mentioned you going to jail. That is finish. a lie. I said, and comparing it in conjunction to where you went to jail because you said, well, I went to jail, but it was for this. Not that. That was during a live stream where we were conversating, but I never use it as a negative against you. Not one time. Like you always say, find the video of me doing it. Okay. You said, why would I talk about your family? When I've never done I it never to you, ever. Mine. For the simple reason of you tried to take food out of my kids and mine's mouth by saying things about me when I didn't say shit about you at all, sir. Nothing. And Okay, Hold on, so wait, 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 is that, oh, I'm, 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 no, 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 don't do that. You asked me a question, I gave you an answer. It is usually proper that a person addresses the answer that they were given, whether it was, was a good answer, do. bad or not, but do you not think it would make sense if you punched me in the face and I stabbed you and you keep saying, well, you stabbed me, I didn't pull out no knife on you, and I say, but I didn't touch you at all. I think you are totally wrong, and I will tell you why. Because if I'm doing something to you on the internet, and I'm doing it to you and you only, you're not doing it to me have, and me only. You have no reason to you're bring up. You're not doing it to me and me only. If I nothing, go, and, sir, nothing that I let me ask you something. You have a work truck. Lying. Wait a minute. Do you have a work truck? Do you not that you do your work with? Right. I have two work trucks. Okay, you have two drug tr work trucks. While you're sleeping, I'm so mad at you because you said something to me. I come and destroy your trucks that you go to work with. Did I just attack you? You attacked my business. That's right. The people but who, we, wait, wait, and the people who work at your business, true. I literally attacked your entire way of life by destroying your trucks. But you are conflating things that aren't true. All the stuff you're saying about people attacking you does not fucking apply to me. Cause no, I have you're trying to tell me that my response, have, no, what you're trying to tell me is my response on, to you honey. was Every improper. Every time I try to fucking say that, you always No, me because off. you're saying my, re sir, uh, is, is not the point of what you said, that my response to you was more than what you did to me. Is that not what you're saying? Your response was taking it from me versus you to you versus me and my whole family. I kept it me and you every time. You, you didn't keep it, sir. You escalate. didn't keep it just you and me. When you yes, literally, did. you didn't. When you started, not only did you not keep it just you and me, you started talking about the people who listened to me, sir. You started calling uh, them out. Are they sir? related to you? Oh, Jesus Christ. Because Do you see I, this? I specifically said family. Have I and I specifically said family? you cannot dictate how I respond to you when you didn't when I didn't do shit to you in the first place. That this doesn't make a, sense. This is a moral question. This is not a YouTube question. This is a moral question. I'm morally saying to you, why sir, why you cannot, sir, I'm morally saying to you, unless you just don't want to hear it, you don't get to fuck with me and dictate how I respond. How did I, wait a minute, making videos about you is fucking with you, correct? Do you hear this, man? Calling you a scammer is fucking with you, correct? I'm asking a simple question. You know the answer. Sir, answer. you're not asking a simple question because I've been telling you this since we got on the show. That no, that I'm is my I'm beef. I'm what you do. I'm trying to set up a fucking point like you do. You try to use It's not like me because I keep saying it. It's not like you haven't heard it. It's not like you haven't heard it. The first time you did it, I said it. My it's not like you question. haven't heard it. The first time you did it, I said it. Okay, it's not like you haven't heard is, it. When we started the show, I said it. It's not like you haven't heard it. I said it five minutes ago. Exactly it's not I like you haven't heard it. I keep saying it. This is your point. I stab you, you shoot me. That's your point. Yep. Pretty much. Okay. So how can you not expect even more escalation after that? What do you mean? You how can I not? Hold on. about my ex for two hours. How can you? I don't get, sir. Didn't you and hear me say, y'all listen to what he just said. He said, how can you not expect escalation after that? When in my show, I said, he'll probably do five days of videos. I don't give a shit. I'm not going to do five days of oh, shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. These niggas don't listen. These niggas don't listen. They make a so-called point. You respond back to them, their point. Exactly. 
How can you expect? I didn't expect it. Huh? That's what a normal person says. Oh, so you're okay with it. You, you kind of expect it. Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Then my question is invalid. Tommy, for someone who gets livid when people talk about your kids and family, why do you do it so much to other people? Because last I checked, that's not your kids, sir. And it's not your family. When you live streamed my wife's pictures, some of those photos had my two young sons in them. And they did nothing. They've never even okay, been on Okay, sir, I ain't said shit about your damn young sons. But they were in those photos. If you say I did stream. this, then if you say I did this, then you got to show it. But I ain't said shit about your fucking family. Don't try that. And I ain't sit up here I and sit nine. Stop it. Stop it. I haven't sit up here and said nothing about your young sons. I ain't brought up no I sons. I ain't put up. I, you haven't seen me do this. That's a lie. They doing. He doing the same shit that that other nigga did. They trying to um, make an excuse now. Um, you put my sons out there. What did I say about them? What did I say about him? What did I say about your sons? What did I say? I never said you said anything about them. So then why are we having this discussion as if I did something to them? I never said you talked about them. What did I do to them then? The photos you put online. The photos you put online. They were on a private Facebook account. No, I don't have your private. I'm not even going to sit up here and argue with this. You're right, sir. You're right. I tried to clown your children. I, sir, I don't care if they put up pictures or anything. When they call my child and say they're trying to fuck my kids, so since you want to play equivocation, no. Now, now, since you want to play equivocation, what I said is them saying they're going to fuck my kid is inappropriate, sir. How about that? I can send you an email right now. Somebody sent, they sent a picture of their dick and said they wanted to stick it in my son's ass. What's that going to do with me? What's that going to do with me? They What's do that shit to me all the time. Sir, oh, my Jesus Christ. They don't make me go fuck with other people's kids. Sir, did you not hear what I just said? I said, when they say anything about your kid, that's I'm going to fuck your kid, rape your kid, or kill your kid. That's and, usually when I get upset. You never ask, you never oh, answered the basic question. What Have question? I ever done that to your child? Yes or no? I answered the fucking question. You even said it. You said my response to being stabbed is to being shot. So quit asking this stupid ass question oh, that I answered. What I'm doing, Tommy, is asking you to stop lumping me in with people who've done this shit to you. Oh, Jesus I've Christ, I didn't. I didn't. Show me where I lumped you in with them. Show it. Where did I do this? Say it one time. Say one time I said that you went after my child. Go ahead. No, when you say y'all niggas fucking oh, with my Jesus life, Christ. you included me in that, Tommy. You, you were fucking with my life by telling two people. Two years ago. Oh, Jesus Christ. Two years ago. The stuff did I motherfucking did say you did it last week? Ago. Did I say you did it last week? So Jesus it's, fucking it's Christ. Nigga, I showed the picture of your son. Your How long ago mind. was that? Wait a minute, Tommy. Stop fucking yelling. You're I'm not going to keep listening to you being stupid, not follow You're directions. You indicted me for shit two years ago. And you indicted me for putting out your son's picture when? When did I put out your son's picture? When? We are talking about... When did I put out your son's picture? Simple question. When you streamed my ex-wife's pictures. How long? Two years ago. Thank you, motherfucker. So if you can't bring it up, then I can't. The oh, how we can't. Sir, listen to what he just what said. Listen to what he just said. It was two years ago, oh but this God. motherfucker had, had no like problem bringing it up. It and I said, yes, it happened. I said about him, he couldn't listen to the same day. thing. This is dumb. Oh, my God, dude. You do this on every damn. Anytime someone challenges you, you start screaming. You didn't like challenge me, you dumbass. talk shit about. You didn't challenge me. Yes, I did. You told me I shouldn't be talking about what you did two years ago. After you just sat here and talked about what I did Tommy, two years ago. You. Oh, my everything God. That I said about you was on YouTube. Everything you said about me was about my family. Oh, my God. What's the difference? You're the difference okay. is I kept it on YouTube. Oh, my God. You're telling me I shouldn't talk about. What you did two years you ago. You shouldn't talk about my fucking family. I don't care about YouTube. You I didn't talk, talk about, about your family. fucking family. Okay, call it what you want, man. I didn't. Call it what you want. If it was call your it fucking you family, they'd still be your fucking family. Look, you can't divorce. I promise, I promise sir, you can't divorce tonight, your will, fucking family. To about you, man. I just wanted, I wanted to say what I had to say. Listen, you and your black sector gang, y'all can have that. 
Nigga, the only telling like me this. is me and my black sector but gang. Nigga, I'm that's you and them. You them you go over there to fuck with them. I don't. You, you go over there to fuck with them. I don't. Why you bring up people's family when they don't even bring up yours? See how he keep on? Nigga, you lame as hell to keep on saying I bring up people's family. This is getting lame now. Sir, this is lame as hell. You keep on saying bring up people's family. They ain't your fucking family. The only real skill on the internet is running from a good fight. So go ahead and hang How am I running, you dick? I've been talking to you for how long? You hung up on me on your earlier show because you And you still talking, you stupid fuck, for an hour yeah, and 12 I minutes. Had to, I had to get in your fucking chat and annoy you the shit out of you. You hear this dumbass? Listen to what the fuck he just said. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's I let's had to get in your chat down. and ignore. And Hold up. Listen Hold up to what this fool just down. said. I'm this a, a grown man. man. Wait a minute. Wait a this a grown man. man who just said the only reason I let him on the show is because he got in my chat and annoyed me. Listen to this fuck. you don't listen. You're an idiot. I didn't okay, have to I'm let you on my show, you dumbass. Dumb let's go with that. I'm I didn't have to let you on my show, idiot. Let's go with that. Oh my Nigga, God. I'm not on here to get Listen to what this fool it. said. He I'm forced to me to let him on. It. And I'm not true Freeman, so you ain't going to talk to me like I am. You know let's what I'm going to do? This. Hey, let's hey, go make your videos, bro. Go make your videos. You forced me on the show, and I'm forcing you, and you forced me off. You forced me on, now you forced me off. I forced you You forced me to kick you off. You did that. You forced me on, and now you forced me to kick you off. For an hour and 12 minutes, after talking to me for a fucking 30 minutes, this nigga says, oh, you're only on the show because I forced you. What? Why do you keep bringing up what I did two years ago? When did I put up that picture? Two years ago. Y'all know this fucker is calling back? Y'all understand this fucker is calling back? Just so y'all know, I ain't lying. Quit being a coward, Tommy. Have you ever sucked my dick before, sir? Stop being a coward, Tommy. And stop being a pest. It's a dumb nigga game, too. Stop, stop being a coward. Stop being a pest. Stop being a coward. Okay, so I don't have the right to be a coward on my own. Since I'm a dumbass and all this and that, I, I got a question for you. So you I don't have a right to be a coward on my own I, when I I'm not bothering you, but you do. You have the right to be a pest okay, to bother me. That question. makes perfect sense to you, right? You I, you're upset because I'm a coward, question. so you're going to pester me. That's Are what you, you just said. Calm down and answer a question. No, 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 no. I'm not. You don't tell me what to damn do. Because when I was trying to have a I regular conversation you with you, I gave you an hour of my time, nigga. And you had an over. You do, I ask Bye. You. you come at me better than that. You call again. You better speak to me like you're calling me. You you call me again. You better speak to me like you're calling me. Like I'm doing you a fucking favor by answering the phone. Or don't call me. You don't get to dictate shit. When you're the one who wants to talk to me, I don't want to talk to you. Do you guys understand this is some weirdo shit? Do you guys understand this is some weirdo shit? You're on, I'm only reason I'm on, on the show is because I trolled you into it. It's a grown motherfucking man who keeps saying this shit about trolling. Do y'all understand this man purposely went over to Zone Show as they were talking about me to try and interject himself as the troll, uh, uh, as the coon to be spoken about as well. This grown man did this. I know y'all are talking about Tommy, but I'm a fellow coon. Look at him. He can't stop himself. Good job. Don't block him. I just want to see how long this dumbass man do it. That's him right in there that's called Let's Do It Live. That's a grown man. Let me ask y'all something. Have y'all ever seen me do that? Have y'all ever seen me do what this guy's doing? You ever seen me do this? Have you ever seen me keep calling somebody on um, Skype back to back? Ever seen me do it? Does it ever happen? It's 
never happened. You just going to keep on calling me over and over again. Even told the dude, I'll let you call back in. Stop talking to me like I, uh, the fact that you believe you trolled me into talking to you. You troll. Do you hear what he said? You only let me call because I trolled you. What? These are men. That is a grown man. I forced you to talk to me. Run, you coward. And he thinks that I'm supposed to be bothered by a man who I don't know calling me a coward. No, he didn't hang up on me. He got hung up on. He did not hang up on me. He got hung up on. I'm not going to sit up here and sit and I'm sitting up here raising my voice and yelling at a man that's not understanding simple logic. You went at my kids, same bullshit that somebody else saying. Hey, guys, what? Uh, how did I go at his kids? Maybe somebody can write it better than you can say it. How did I go at his kids? There was a picture of my son in one of those pictures you sit, scrolled across your screen. So I went at his kid. My sons were in those pictures. So I went at your kids. Nobody finds these things odd. You went at my kids. See how they just make shit up? I never went after your kids. I'm done. Little donations. Nothing else to say to you, coward. This is a grown man. Look, I'm done. Little donations. Nothing else to say to you, coward. Nah, I'll come get it. I'm going to quit. Look. Grown man wrote, I'm done. Little donations, nothing else to say to a coward. Maybe uh, mad black Mr. Supposed to be so much more intelligent than everybody else. Maybe you should learn how to use punctuation, sir. It would make your sentence make more sense. Use punctuation. Somebody said you said you were going to go away two years ago, yet here you still are. Exactly. Yes, he wants to be me so bad. Who goes around saying, Y'all call Tommy a coon. I'm a coon, too. Who the fuck does that? Hey, y'all, I'm a coon just like Tommy. Come after me. Come after me. That's literally what this nigga did. But isn't that the same as that truth semen idiot? Uh, I, I call Tommy crispy because I'm crispier. They call me a broke ass, crispy ass. Nobody calls you that. You're just making shit up. They call me TJ, too. It's not, they don't just call Tommy TJ. They call me TJ. I got a gun channel, too. I've been had a gun since I was uh, 18 years old. What? Yet you've had all this time to do a gun channel. And you never did it. I've been doing the news. Why didn't you have a news channel? Why do you now have one? That fool literally said, they call me since I'm a crispy, broke ass. Nobody calls you that. You're making this shit up. You're literally trying to put yourself in my shoes. Since he called me true bitch, mate. I've never called you that. I call you true semen. But I want you guys to think about it. Every one of these dudes, uh, you, uh, they call me, when black, mad black atheists first start coming around, somebody tell me if I'm lying. What was his first words? Well, they call you a coon. They call me bigger coon, Tommy. We are, what the fuck you gonna fucking uh, identify with me based upon we called coons. 
Are you an idiot? Have you ever seen me call somebody else's show to identify with them? You know, they do this to me. They do that just like they do you. Just like they do you. So we, we's friends. We, we's the same. They don't like me just like they don't like you. No, they don't know you. Sir, they don't know you. No one watches you. They don't know you. That's why you got to announce yourself as the coon when you come in. And I don't. That's why you got to announce your arrival. And I don't. That's why you got to go out of your way to get a to, to get this white girl who you married her overweight mama and then try to act like you. You know what happened? Mad black atheist paid for that white bitch to get that damn uh, lap band surgery. She lost the weight and left his ass. Somebody tell me I lied. You announced to us. That you done got the lap band surgery for this overweight white bitch with a child old enough for you to be dating her child instead of her. You will never see me with a bitch and her kid is 20. I'm going to fuck her kid. I'm going to go ahead and be with her kid. I'm not going to be with this old bitch that has a 20 year old. Let me go and date your daughter. The fuck I look like being with a bitch that got a 20 year old kid that's finer than she is. and ain't got all them stretch marks and shit. I'm going to be with her. I told my daughter's mom. Do not be dating when my daughter's a teenager. You either find your motherfucking man while she little or you wait for her to get out of the house. Ladies and gentlemen, am I lying? Is that not a good thought? Ladies, if you got a young child, I say you got into that child about nine or 10. At that point, don't bring no kid around your 10 year old because even when they're 10, guess what's going to happen to that nigga who keeps looking at you and seeing your daughter feel out over the next couple of years. What do you think that nigga in that house going to be doing? Because ain't no blood there. There's no blood there. Look like having some man up in my house with my daughter is now filling out and having her period and shit like that. Why would I want that around? Hey, oh, fellas, if you got a son, fuck you look like dating some woman. She 25 and you got a 15 year old son. Who the fuck you think she going to fuck when you don't come home or you do something wrong? I don't trust bitches far as I can kick them. I already told you this. And yet we're setting up here. Listen to this grown ass man who got left by a fat white bitch that you worked every damn day to help her lose weight. And she was too damn lazy where she couldn't even lose it the right way. She had to have a surgery and you paid for that shit. And now she done dipped out with her mad black daughter. And now one of them motherfuckers fuck with you no more. And you don't feel stupid. Ladies and gentlemen, should he not feel stupid right now? You endorse this damn white girl and all that bullshit she did. And she ducked the fuck out and ain't none of them got shit to do with you now. Should he not feel like an idiot, but he mad that I would bring that up. Why wouldn't I bring that up? Serious guys. Why wouldn't I bring that up? How is that me overstepping a bounds? Someone tell me how that's me overstepping a bound. When you came on the damn internet every day talking about how much better this white bitch was and how much better your life is with this white bitch. You did this. I didn't. You went out of your way to try to troll the internet and got trolled in real life by the bitch you was laying with. Somebody tell me I lied. You got trolled by that white bitch out of the That's why motherfuckers asked me to pay for them and give them some fucking surgery. I'm like, wait a minute. You're going to walk away from me as soon as I buy this shit. And I'm going to look like an idiot. I can't get it back. You've made no commitment to me, but I'm going to give you this, huh? I'm going to give you something. You've given me what? I don't mind helping somebody with some little shit. That shit, it happens. That's what happens in the realm of a relationship. If I buy a bitch a car, y'all remember, Caitlin was asking me to buy her that damn BMW. Like I didn't know she was fucking around the entire time. Give you little money? Yep. BMW? Not doing it. 
fuck I look like giving you a thousand dollars, a thousands of dollar gift and you can walk from me at any point in time. You've not even shown me any loyalty to me. I would assume like with my daughter or somebody else, you show me enough loyalty. You can get what the fuck you want out of me. I want some ass implants. Guess what? If my motherfucking dick stay sucked, you can get that. If my food stay cooked, you can get that. If I've got to ask for simple shit, what I look like giving you something that's going to enhance your life. Like, just think about it. This nigga gave this bitch a lap band surgery. Women ain't shit. As soon as you get them something, they're going to go elsewhere. Because if a bitch gave a shit about you when she didn't have an ass, she would try to marry you then. She'd move in with you then. She would cook, clean, and shit with you then. You think that bitch going to do it after you've enhanced that bitch when she wouldn't do it when she felt at her worst? If I just had some ass, I'd be perfect. You think that bitch going to do something for you? If the imperfect bitch won't commit to you, the perfect bitch damn sure won't. Let me say this again. If the imperfect bitch won't commit to you, the perfect bitch is going to look at you as an idiot. You actually bought me this ass. That I can let other niggas fuck now. Other niggas hit from behind now. I look better in my dress than I did before because of the hard work you did that you foot me. Nope. You buy a bitch dinner, she'll shit that out. She can go tell people you bought a dinner, but she shit that out. You buy a bitch a car. What do you think that bitch is going to tell people about you when she walks off from you? You buy a bitch ass. You pay a bitch rent. That you don't live in. Here's the funny part about paying somebody's rent. If you've never been to their house. You never been in it. Never been invited in it. Don't know what they're doing in that house. You pay for it. You pay a bitch car note. You've never driven her car. She's never been invited to be in that car. You see where I'm going? You said I'm right. It's still a harsh blow to throw. No, you're right. You make up something about me. I say something that's true about you. I agree with you, though, Aaron. But remember, his whole life played out online. This played out online. Somebody says, stop. It says, stop blocking me and let the coward see it. Wait a minute. I thought he was going to leave. Wow. I thought he was going to leave. But he's not.
why would I have to continue to ask a grown man who said, Remember, he's controlled by his emotions. You guys do know this, right? Well, he's calling back. I don't know what the point is, but I'm going to give him the floor. Hopefully, I'm going to let him get what he want off his chest, and then hopefully this will be done. I won't say anything. You, you want to talk to me that bad? You got it. Go. I just want you to stop lying. I don't really want to talk to you, but you're sitting up here telling bald face lies, and you know you're telling lies. I didn't pay for any fucking surgery, number one. I don't know what I'm doing. I said I'm speculating, sir. You can't tell I me a well, lie when I'll, I said I'll, I'm speculating. I'll, 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 I will help you on your How is that a lie if I say I'm speculating, I sir? Didn't pay for any how is that a lie if I say I I'm speculating? I you, you were speculating. You, how, you asked everybody to understand tell you the lie. Understand terminology. How I'll is it a lie? How is it? I just want you to explain to the audience. How is it a lie if um, I say I'm I speculating? I hear you say the word speculate. I'm sorry. I didn't hear it. I don't now, know. Please, please let me. Hey, guys, off. are you not? Are you? Do you, you think I know this man in real life? I don't know him in real life. I did not hear you say the word speculate. Go ahead. Go ahead. Holy shit, dude. You were fucking sitting up here saying, OK, you're speculating. I don't know well, him in real life. Let me let me let me speculate then. Let me speculate since you're you're doing all this. You've already done it. You've already done it. Let me do some speculation. You've already done it. No, actually, no, I don't stick to speculation. I'll just stick to facts. That, no, I you don't. I didn't you anything. don't stick to facts. You just already proved when you- I didn't pay you... for any fucking thing, and we left because I wanted to break up. She didn't fucking get something out of me and then leave. It was my choice, thank you very much. So would you please stop telling your speculation, number one. And number two, I'm so when I dumb, asked you to leave me alone, you wouldn't. I'm- I'm so I'm going to leave you alone if you let me speak my piece. Oh, so well, I got to do something for you. Oh, you y'all remember? I, I, guys, remember me. who said this same thing? I left and then I looked in the thing. You're still talking about me. Remember who said, how would you say I left and I looked in the thing? You still talk about me. I left your house I and I looked through the window Skype. and y'all was still you, in. The you, <laughs> you fucking said I was still on there calling you and I had and I was I hung up. I hung up on you both times. No, you told them that I was still calling you, and I didn't. I, I told hung up on my sir. End. They they heard the call. They could hear do do do. It I was had, two. It wasn't going on. I had hung up on my end. It was two. That's all I said. I didn't say you called me eighty times. They heard it, so I can't lie and say it didn't happen. It was only twice. I had hung this shit up, dude. You just gonna keep on saying bullshit. It was twice. I'm not saying bullshit. It was twice. You, I didn't say you, you kept me calling me. You it was twice. You hang up on people, then you do a long diatribe about them when they can't defend themselves. I've been hung up on. I've, sir, in. I've been hung up on. I don't keep calling the motherfucker back. Well, uh, you're talking about me live on the air. Yes, I've been hung, hung up, up on, on live on air. Hung up on me. I was hung up on when I called Deb Antony. When I was doing Deb Antony. I got hung up on and live on radio show. They kept talking shit about me. Did I call them back? I don't know. I didn't watch I that. did not because I'm not a pest. I'm not a pest, but I'm not going to let someone else write my fucking story. And you're not going to stop them either because if I didn't answer. Oh, I, you know what? I understand that, but I want to get something clear. I'm not going to make a video about you. None of that shit. I don't care. But I just want to I want to answer something that you said. Mm -hmm. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm dumb. I'm all the shit you said. Okay, I own my home, and you have to move out of yours at the end of every year. So which one of us is really dumb? I you have, have to move out. Wait, wait, wait. You have to I wait. Have to move. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. So let me. Uh, let, wait, a I I wait a minute. I want to address. Wait a minute. I will address. Wait a minute. I'll address what you just said. I own my business. I will. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'll address but, what you said. You okay. said I have to move out of my house every year. You own your home. That's what you said, right? How long was I in my last house? He, he has own nothing it. to say. Huh? I was typing something. Do you own it? No, no, no. I'm addressing what you fucking said, sir. You said. I don't know how long you was in your new house. So then couple, why would you say. Did, uh, wait a minute. Isn't this the same person who said, I only speak facts. That's what he just said. I'm no, using I his. See. You call me dumb and stupid and all that. So I was comparing which one of us is really dumb. Okay. But you said you have to move out of your house every year. That's Dude, come said. on. You know goodness damn well I wouldn't be an exact. When oh, I so said wait, 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 year, wait, 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 wait. Do y'all see what, what, what just happened? And again, I so I, I shouldn't even use your word. He you know called me, y'all, he called me to tell me he want to correct my speculation. 
but now turns back around. It's the same thing with the two year thing. So you're telling me you don't know what facetious is? Oh, but you don't like it when it's done to you to the point you of where you doing pester it to people. Me. You were speculating, facetious and speculating are two different things. That wasn't being facetious, sir. Yes, I was. I don't know how long you've been in your house. So when then I maybe you should stop talking about it. So year, then maybe you, you should stop talking about exactly it. Exactly every year. You tried to claim you're doing better than me. Barack Obama rents, um, sir. Barack oh, Obama rents. Brad Pitt right now. Brad Pitt rents. The majority of celebrities you know rent. Yes, you're right. They do. But you want me to tell them to tell you the difference between yourself, us, and them? I'll tell you the difference. From a man who doesn't move, know me. I don't, have to, I don't have to move out of my house because my channels got flagged. I don't have to move out of my house because my PayPal and Patreon get flagged. I don't have to move out of my house because because I have real, legit, tangible green money. Okay, so, so let me stop. Instead Instead hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. You name one time I've had to move because my pay, everything you just said, name one. What you doing in this new house? I just named it. The house is more expensive, dumbass. Oops, you stupid what fuck. You doing in this Do you new think house? you can it look out of my backyard expensive. and see that and think it's cheaper than the other house, you dummy? Show proof. You tell me to show proof, show proof. I didn't tell you to show proof. What proof? Whoa, whoa, whoa. See, see I just make shit up. Wait a minute. I don't want to see your address. Sir, show proof. You just show proof. Oh, so I should show you where I live now. No, I said I don't want to see your address. I don't want to see it. Show proof of the number of the amount. I don't care about your address. Hold on. I don't want to see that. I just want to see the number amount. You know, like you did with your truck when you show how much you paid for it. Why won't you do that with your house? Uh, sir, listen to what you're saying. You can't say it's more expensive and not show proof. You Why, can't wait a minute. Hold on. Ago. I don't have to. I don't have to show proof. Yes, you do, because you told me I can't say something. I did not proof. say I didn't. You're making this up now. You're making it up. When have I told, you, told you to me. Sir, sir, hold on, sir, 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 everything, sir. You told me that got you let. You know what? I'm going to get him off because he's not going to tell me and keep on talking. He told me he left his wife. Did I ask him for proof? He told me he owns his house. Did I ask him for proof? He told me he owns his own business. Did I ask him for proof? You name one time I've sit up here and said, prove it to me. Name I one. My, I can get my mortgage Name one right time, now. sir, that uh, I told I you to prove something to me. Right now, sir. Nigga, I asked you a question because you lied. Name one time I told you to prove something to me. You see this stupid right son of a bitch? He just keeps saying it now. So he said ahead, something that was a lie. I asked you. Go ahead and hang up. Bye. You see this stupid fuck? I never asked him to prove shit. He said, you asked me to prove. I never Told asked him to prove earlier, shit. earlier, I could not prove something by simply saying it. I didn't say this to you. You said, you, you, I can't, you said, if I can't. Oh my God, you cannot be this fucking stupid. Sir, stop fucking with me. I Make your video. Leave me the fuck alone. You're a clown. Jesus Christ. I cannot believe this. If your PayPal gets shut down, you got to move. How the fuck was I just in L.A. just lounging the fuck around? How the fuck was I just in Vegas lounging the fuck around? What the fuck have my PayPal went down, but people are donating to PayPal? Do you hear this, fool? You asked me to prove I named everything. You said you own your house. I didn't ask you to prove it. You said you left your wife. I didn't ask you to prove it. You said that I didn't. you didn't pay for your wife's lap band surgery. I never asked him to prove it. Do y'all see how dumb these niggas are? This is a dumbass grown man who know he's lying. Is this theater? I cannot believe it. I'm telling y'all, I can't believe this. I cannot believe a grown, well, I can believe it now. If, if you get left by a fat white bitch, you at home lonely in a bitch right now. Only the lonely. That nigga's at home lonely and a motherfucker. Right. Natasha said, I just donated to PayPal. So this is BS. They're making it up. They're making it up as they go along. You put your trust in a fat white bitch. I cannot trust your decision making. You're not going to get me to follow you. 
when you can't even get her to follow a diet plan. When you would actually put a white girl out there to talk shit about black people and endorse that shit. Yet me, the coon, for six years, have y'all ever seen that happen with me? No, these niggas are stupid. You've seen his ghetto ass mama and sister and they d- dilapidated uh, living arrangement. This motherfucker told me to prove that the house I'm in costs more than the house I left. And that would make him do what? That would make him feel what? The difference between me, you, and them celebrities is that I don't have to worry about PayPal going down or people not donating to me and I got to change my living conditions. Yeah, because I got tangible money and and I got greenbacks. Sean says, the view shows it's more expensive. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If the rest of my house look like shit, you can't pay for that view anywhere else and pay cheap. Somebody tell me my line. You show me a house on a fucking lake that's cheap. Show me one. That's all I'm asking. Show me one. Show me a waterfront property in any city and show me how cheap it is. waterfront property with a pool palm trees manicured lawn kitchen the size of what did that girl say a church what that girl say on the show a church she thought it was a church Yeah, church basement is what she said. The church basement. But that's what's dumb. These niggas want you to sit up here and brag like they do every day. Uh, Lel C said, why is he so pressed about your life? But y'all notice when them couple of niggas sit up there and get them a couple of donations, they start bragging. How many of y'all notice that? Some of these niggas get a couple dollars of donations and they start bragging like they rich off your dime. Off your dime. And then they want to force me to sit up here and brag over and over again to them. You've had the li- you've had the downgrade, you dumbass. I'm sitting up here fucking with y'all jackasses because y'all were so damn happy. I'm sitting up there fucking right along with y'all. Hey man, I'm having to move out. I'm having a downgrade. Most people who had common sense was like, ah, I know where this is going. That's why I kept laughing. Who you know can move out of a complete house in about four days? And just get all your shit while you sit in front of while you sit in front of a camera doing shows. Y'all see me lift a fucking finger. Even now, next week, have my manager come over here, move the rest of this shit and straighten it up because that's not what I do. But why are we talking about this? Why do they want to know about my possession? That man says, show me. Do y'all understand? He said, show me that I'm paying more. So that would mean he knows what I was paying before and what I'm paying now. And this grown man wants to know. Right, Roseanne, I work all the fucking time. 
and no matter what it is I have, do I not work like I had, like I don't have shit? Somebody say something to me. No matter what it is I got, how do I work? Like I ain't got a motherfucking thing. I can sit up here and be enjoying hoes, getting my dick sucked, foursome, ate some, all kind of shit. And just say, let me just travel a bit since I've done so well for myself and wait till I get to the point where I need it again. Then I'll go back and work. Do I do that? Or do I work my fucking ass off? Cass asked me, why do I need such a big house? Because our house is my studio. That's why. I use it as my studio. And I'm claustrophobic. It's a weird thing, but I don't like being in small areas. I don't feel comfortable in small areas. Anybody will tell you since I was young, when I first started working at IBM, I lived in a two bedroom loft. It had two bedrooms on the bottom floor and a loft bedroom on the top. Who lived there with me? Me. No bitch. Me. Everywhere I've lived, I don't like small spaces. I just don't. And if I get a small space in order for me to do the same things I have to do in the, in the house, I have to rent out an area to do it. So it would end up being the same thing, wouldn't it? Instead, I can do all of this shit in my house. Everything I need to get done, I can do it here. That makes my life easier because you know what I like doing every day? I like working. I'm not trying to be funny. I like working. So why wouldn't I have it to where I can get up in the morning and work? Before I go to bed, I can work. I can work. I can work. I can work. And Rosanna said you can use it as a tax deduction. Yes, because everything in my house is what? Business. If I fly a bitch to my house, what is that? It's a business expense. If I go get groceries for my house, what is that? It's a business expense. If I buy a TV, pool table, anything in this house, what is it? Business. Toilet paper, dish soap. Everything I purchase for this house, which is where I use my business, is a business expense. Do you know this man said? This man want to tell me who's better. I was going to read what he wrote. I'm not going to do it. I'm done. I'm going to go eat. Now I'll come back and I'm going to play y'all that the story tonight. Right when I get through eating. Somebody said, now the IRS is going to be chasing my ass. No, they're not. They understand that those are, those are business expenses. I'm not saying something that's not true. It's in my house. My house is my business. There's nothing wrong with that. If my house is my business and these people are coming and then they, when they come to my house, what do they do? They get on the show. That's business. They flew here. They come. They talk on the show. Business. I buy a refrigerator as a part of the, the ambiance of what I have going on. Business. I need it. I use it. I broadcast. I show it in the, the couches. Business. but I want you guys to understand. Yeah, it's completely legal. It's not illegal at all. I'm not writing off something that shouldn't be written off. Not at all. Right, Frantonio, the chick from the Netherlands. When she came here, she got on the, on the stream. Her flight was what? Business.
So the whole thing is this. This man, along with several other people, and I guess I'll go ahead and block him on here because I'm just done. I hopefully don't call back. And hopefully you're all right, bro. I have no problem with you. I have no problem with any of you guys. I just want out. I just want out. I just want out. I don't want to have anything to do with any of you. None of you. When you are willing to say the things that these people are saying about me, it's hurtful. When you won't understand that you telling me I did something two years ago, but you're telling me not to bring up what you did two years ago. It's the exact same amount of time. When you're trying to tell me I was talking about your son, when I haven't talked about anybody in your fucking family, and you're going to tell me that this bitch who you was with was a bitch. You called me to tell me she's a bitch. Now you're going to tell me I shouldn't have said that? Come on. I don't think anybody should do that, guys. I think it's wrong. I, I, I don't give a fuck if I date five white bitches at once and they all walk around this house. You know what I ain't going to let them do? Get online talking about some how black bitches ain't shit. I just think that's inappropriate. Why do you? Because you're not saying it from a point that you even give a shit. I told y'all, stop letting people try to stop letting people feel like they're superior to you. That's why you won't hear me talk about some damn white supremacy. The word in itself delineates that white people are supreme. And I'm not saying that. I'm not blaming it on that. I'm not blaming shit on people when I know I could work myself to do something. But anyway, guys. I'm going to go and eat and I'll be back. And what I'm going to play you guys is a really good show. I'm going to play for you guys this video of this man talking about how to protect yourselves. And then I'm going to point out to you guys some things because his story is crazy. It may be, it, we'll do an episode of Around the Web, but it's going to be this guy. Uh, what's up, Celine? What up, Skohar? But you guys, this show, if, if the women don't listen, the men need to listen to this show. The next show that comes up, uh, however long it takes me to eat, you just stick around. But when I come back, that show, every one of you men need to hear this. I should be back, however long it takes me to eat. I'm going to work tonight. I need to work, and then I probably need to sleep. But I'll do that sometime next week, I guess. But I'm going to work tonight because that's what I'm comfortable doing. I'll be back. It is a Chicago video shooting. No, but I will show y'all that video one last time before I go, though, just to let y'all see how fucked up this is. Because I just can't believe that. I just can't believe this is a natural thing that uh, people did or think is okay. So what I'm going to do is go here and. Oh, shit. Okay, there we go. Let me see. Because just to see, and again, we're arguing over dumb shit. This internet stuff is too damn real for people. And you know what that tells you? Because they don't have real shit in their real life. When you don't have shit in your real life, this internet shit be real to you. And you make it real. I'm going to kill a motherfucker because they said something about me. That's what you do when you don't have shit going for yourself. But watch this. And the fact that somebody sat here and recorded it is impressive. That motherfucker G. Tell me if this internet he said, she said, stupid shit that we do, it matters. Well, when you don't have a life, it matters. I'll be back. <laughs> 